New Zealand authorities say they're committed to giving closure to the families of those killed in the White Island volcano eruption. Divers will continue to search tomorrow in nearby waters for the last two people still listed as missing. A four-hour operation on the island itself to recover six victims has gone ahead, despite the very real chance of another eruption. Decked out in protective clothing and gas masks, a specialist team set off on a risky mission to White Island at daybreak. Braving hazardous conditions, they raced against the clock to recover the bodies, despite the risk of another eruption. Volcanologists monitored live feeds from the mountain, ready to abort the operation if signs pointed to another eruption. On the mainland, grieving family members waited with bated breath, anxious for news, as many have grown increasingly desperate for the bodies to be recovered after days of delay. I'd like to express the collective relief and the gratitude on behalf of our community in hearing that six bodies have been recovered from Fakari today. In an emotional press conference, Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern paid tribute to the recovery team and extended her sympathies to the families of victims. There was, of course, a huge amount of courage still required to do what they did today. So my job was simply on behalf of New Zealand was to say thank you. We know that reunification won't ease that sense of loss or grief um, because I don't think anything can. But we felt an enormous duty of care as New Zealanders to make sure that we brought their family members back. But the mission was only a partial success. Unfortunately, there remains two more people that we need to find so we can also return them. Authorities say terrain on the island proved to be challenging, but they have not given up yet. We do believe that at least one of them is in the water and they are working together to plan for tomorrow. They will redeploy and it will be the New Zealand police dive team and some of the Navy dive team as well. Dive teams will be deployed in the waters around the island on Friday. Meanwhile, the bodies retrieved will be formally identified. White Island erupted on Monday with 47 people on it.